In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable clay butterfly. So the first thing we're going to do is because it's a, we have a short class period, I'm going to give you the butterfly shape already cut out with a cookie cutter. That way we're not having to spend too much time waiting for our friends to finish and sharing because I don't have 20 something of these. So you're going to get your little cookie cutter. You're going to have a fork and a skewer um, on your board. And then you and the person next to you are gonna be sharing a little cup of water and um, some stampers. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna hold our butterfly gently in the palm of our hand, and we're gonna dip a finger in just a tiny bit of water. And we're going to gently smooth the edges. And the reason why we want to do this is because once these go in the kiln, which is my big oven that sort of bakes the clay and makes it come out like this and it's nice and hard, um, these edges will get hard. And if they are pointy, they will be sharp. So it will be hard to hold. It also makes them look a little bit nicer. So you want to do the top and the sides there. All right. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to add a little body in the center here. So I'm going to give you a little piece of clay and you are going to squish it into sort of a pickle shape and then you're going to roll a coil. And coil is like sort of a long skinny snake shape. And then you're going to fit it on there. Now, if while you're doing this, sorry, my lights went off. <laughs> if while you're doing this, you feel like it's too long, you can always just pinch a little bit off the end, but this seems to be fitting pretty nicely on here. Now to attach this, I have to do something called slip and score. Can everyone say that? Go ahead. Slip and score is an important thing to learn when you're using ceramics. It's not something that you have to do when you're working with uh, modeling clay or Play-Doh. So when you go to put pieces together, right now while, it, while the clay is still wet, it will stay on there pretty good. But once it dries, it will fall right off. And we want it to be able to come out of the kiln like this. So we're gonna do something called scoring. So we're gonna take our fork and we're gonna scratch one side on the, on the back and then we're gonna scratch the place where we're gonna be putting the butterfly's body. So now we have two rough sides and that's gonna make it work sort of like Velcro. And then I'm gonna dip my fingers in a tiny bit of water and press it and just kind of pat it on there. And that's gonna mix with a little bit of clay dust and make something called slip, which is like clay glue. Now I'm gonna press this on here gently. And you might even see a little bit of slip or kind of muddy water kind of squirt out underneath. That's good. That means that you pressed it on and it's the two sides are really put together, okay? Now the next thing you're gonna do is if you have any spots that are really wet, I want you to just take your dry finger and just rub and just sort of smooth it out and get rid of that extra moisture or water because when we do our next step, we don't want this to be wet because it will be sticky. Now we're gonna to start to use some stampers and skewers to make some cool designs. Now butterflies on their wings, their designs have symmetry, which means the same on both sides. And I like to explain symmetry when we're making designs with symmetry with my students as think about one side of your design is a brother and one side of the design is a sister or a sister and a sister and a brother and a brother. So siblings. Sometimes with siblings, if they don't have everything the same, one sibling might say, that's not fair. <laughs> so whatever you do to one side, you have to be fair and do it to the other. So I'm gonna take my stamper and I'm gonna gently press it in here. I don't wanna push it down too hard because I can um, kind of make the clay too skinny and it can break, um, but just hard enough that I could see the design. And since I did it to this side, hey, that's not fair. I'm going to also put it on this side. Now, 
I'm going to put a different one on here. So I could repeat my last one if I wanted to. And in order to make it fair, I'm just gonna make sure I do the same thing on both sides. Anything that I do, okay? Hey, that's not fair. Why did that side get all of those little circles? Oh, sorry, just be patient. I'm gonna get to you, don't worry. <laughs> so make sure that as you're doing it, do one side, do the other. That will help you keep track of it. You can also use your skewer to add some designs. So maybe you wanna add some little lines. Maybe you wanna add some little tiny dots. Just please don't take your fork and try to like stab it into the clay to make designs because it's a little hard to get nice, accurate designs, okay? Make sure that you're making those designs fair because otherwise one side of the clay is gonna be jealous. Once I have all of my designs on there the way that I like, I can do a little face. So I can take the back side of my skewer, so not the pointy end, but the, the um, kind of blunt end, and I'm gonna press a little eye and a little eye, and then I can take the pointy side and I can do a little mouth, okay? Now you're gonna give me a thumbs up and let me know that you're finished. And I will take this and I will put a little hole in the top of both wings so we can put a little wire in it. That way, when you take it home, if your family would like, they can hang it up somewhere so they could see your beautiful artwork. So have fun. Don't forget to slip and score and don't forget to make it fair and show symmetry.